guys know what chroma key is, you want to practice using the chroma key effect in Final Cut. So you first need to download this little video that is linked here. So I'm going to download a file and I will save it to my desktop. Now I'm going to go into Final Cut and we're going to go to the import media button in Final Cut, same way you import imported yourself and other things. So we need to find that file on the desktop. Chroma key video. And I'm going to import that. Now that that's imported, I'm going to make a new project. You don't want to delete any of your projects ever, so I'm going to go to File, New Project. And we'll name this Chroma Key. And I'm going to bring this video down. Hit OK to that. And I'm going to slice it up. Just so we have a couple different sections to work with here. And I'm hitting A to get back to my arrow key. So the chroma key effect, which is the keying effect in Final Cut, is under video effects. And you're going to go to keyer and or keying and then keyer. So really all you need to do is drag this effect right over here. On top of the video and now you can see that um, the green is gone so what we can do you can take any picture or video and you can put it on the track right below that video let me grab that again put it right below the video and that's the video that is going to show through behind that video so what you can also see though is that around Erin, the girl in the video here, we have these white lines. So we're going to use some new tools that are up here by the viewer. If you go up here, we have transform and crop. So you want to use the crop tool. Make sure this is selected. Make sure crop is selected. And then you should be able to drag these edges in of this. Oh, got the wrong video selected. Drag these edges in just slightly so that that white line disappears. Come on video. And that'll clean up your video just a little bit. So there's going to be another place where it's going to be a little foggy there. Let me put this video behind it so you can see the fogginess. So what you would want to do on this one Make sure this video is selected and it's showing our video effects here. We're going to hit this sample color and just where it's gray, we're going to just kind of click and drag and it's going to get rid of that, that fogginess. So make sure when you go through yours today that you get rid of all of these white lines and you get rid of any of that grayness that's around any of it and put any picture or video on the track right below it. Good luck.